Hello everyone, it's Takuya here, and welcome back to a Hearts of Iron 4 video. Yes, we are back in the original world of Hearts of Iron 4, and I am back from Europe. It's been, I mean, it's been a hell of an adventure for the last week or so. A lot of personal stuff happened when we got back, and uh, yeah, it created a little bit of a delay in putting content out. So for that, I apologize, everyone. But we are back. You know what else is back? The Balkans. Yeah, out of all the Balkan nations, I've only not done, like, two of these. And only one of them actually has a focus tree, and that being Bulgaria. Albania, yes, is a Balkan nation, but Albania can't really usually do anything you mountainous italian luxembourg you and so yes to that end we're going to be playing bulgaria the prussia of the balkans now, if you don't know why bulgaria has that nickname well historically speaking bulgaria though it ultimately ended up getting crushed multiple times was a very highly militaristic state i mean in the years prior to world war one it was a very aggressive state that had 10 percent of its population serving in the country's military I mean, it was the definition of when you talk about Prussia and you say, oh yes, other states have an army, but the army of Prussia has a state. Yeah, that was Bulgaria, basically. Unfortunately for Bulgaria, none of their territorial claims really worked out and everything kind of got crushed following World War I and they lost even more territory after getting eviscerated before. So the government has a catastrophe. Yeah, we can't produce anything because we're being restricted and simultaneously there are terrorists all through the countryside. But have we learned our lesson? Well, let's find out and see how quickly we can break this game. Bulgaria Area, you have no stability, a decent amount of war support, no population from which you can actually use, and there are not enough troops to actually fill out, or rather equipment to fill out anything within the armies. Lovely, lovely, lovely stuff. First things first, get the classic stuff with research and everything going, and we're going to need to get some civvy factories, so let's go ahead and get all that started too. Put all these into an army, and we really have nothing else to do except check out our focus tree, which admittedly, Bulgaria has one of the more expansive focus trees in the game. It's actually pretty cool and broad how much choice it it really has. Oh, and see, see, this is what I'm talking about here. Prussia of the Balkans. Look at these bonuses. So what do you think? Full military? Full military, right? No, no, that is not what we're doing here today. Power to the czar and all this militaristic crap about conquering everything? Pfft. Nah, see, we learned our lesson last time, and the time before when we also got horribly beaten. If you want to conquer things, just don't use the military. We can unite everything on our own. That's right, the totally not Bulgarian option that is not what you'd usually go with. We're going democracy, baby. To that end, it's time to oppose the world dictatorship and let's get this going. Also, Bulgaria has this unique system of faction management where you have to manage the different factions within the country that are effectively trying to take it over. Depending on the path that you go with, you will usually integrate some while destroying others. In the case of democratic you could probably integrate all of them so we might just go with that even if it takes a bit of time because you can get some pretty nice bonuses from it all ah boris don't look so sad you're merely getting voted out of office i prefer a man with a better hairline but with that done that means that we're going to be able to start integrating or banning different things and we're going to focus on integrating the agrarian union first because a part of our focus tree specifically requires that we get support from the agrarian union so let's go ahead and get that going there we go democratic principles that is done we have that secured now it is time to seek cooperation with the czar which in turn is going to cause any faction management costs to be halved which is good because we're, we're really going to need that here all right there it is cooperation with the czar that is done next step after this we want to get legislative elections but we do not have enough support here for the dp which that's the democratic path so we're going to need to start focusing on building that up let's go ahead and get pedrocato over here so that we can start boosting up not only our political power but democracy and general boost to democratic power and now all this only costs 10 awesome because we're seriously gonna need the political power anyway go ahead and fund the union and then next step after that that means we can integrate the union yes excellent that's gonna give us a huge boost to political power and stability and we can get everything going okay so you know what let's go ahead and cooperate with zvina go ahead and get that secured then we need to boost these relations so it's important that we get all this done and let's see democratic reformer do we go for the push Political power gain, max factories in the state, and resources to market. Ooh, ooh, okay, okay, okay. There's actually some good bonuses here. Let's go ahead and get that political power. Agrarian National Union integrated. Excellent. Yes, it hurts loyalty, but it boosts our stability, and it gives us some political power to work with, which is awesome. That means that we can simultaneously get the Democratic Reformer and start boosting everything, and start allowing the Socialists to speak, which, goddamn, first time for everything, I guess, right? We could technically integrate all them, but we're going to get rid of the National Socialists, all things considered. 
considered. I don't think there's any place for you in a democracy, especially considering that you like to punch people as a form of voting. All right, next up on here, condemn the Macedonian organizations. Yes, we do not give a shit about them. Nope, 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 no. We want peace in the Balkans, which I guess there's a first time for everything again, right? Oh my God, I completely forgot this entire time to be buying stuff. Oh, no. <laughs> I completely forgot to be buying materials so I could actually produce stuff. Okay, okay, well, it's fine. Let's go ahead and get an army guy and just get some experience going. God damn it. Establish legislative branches. Perfect. And that'll give us political power so that we'll more likely be able to go up to another mobilization level after this. All right. Almost there to integration. All we have to do now is fund the Zvino once, and then we should be able to integrate them after that. 60 more days and we should be good. Oh, look at you, Bulgaria. Shining beacon of stability. Simply lovely. Simply lovely stuff. Go ahead and go up here to partial mob and oh no 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 i realized i actually can't do the thing over here for greece i forgot to start improving relations with you crap maybe i'll be able to do that real quick here nope not quite okay that's gonna take one more thing so fine okay liberalization of trade policies let's go ahead and get this we'll we'll go through at least one more set fine we need to integrate this vino anyway i could have done that smarter i really could but you know what it's fine we still have no population, but at least we have stability and still don't really have much of an economy here, to be fair. March on Stargoza. Oh, the movement is starting to get a little, a uh, little spicy. Nope. We're going to go ahead and start silencing you little fuckers and get the Salonika agreement so we can start making friends with Greece. Yes. Bulgaria and Greece. Best of friends. Totally not going to do anything to stab you in the back or anything else later. I promise. Zvino integrated. Excellent. That is wonderful. We're going to go ahead and get that. Start carrying out propaganda to stop the terrorists because everyone knows propaganda exactly does that. And we're going to repress the National Socialists, which is going to hurt them, but it's perfectly fine. And afterwards, we're going to ban them and get rid of them. National Socialists destroyed. Excellent. That is done, which means we can start integrating the Broad Socialists next. All right, just keep on investing in Yugoslavia and Turkey. If we can just get this going, we need to get this as close as we possibly can. We need to get that democracy up here. If we can just overtake this a little bit, it'll be okay. Come on, election May 1938. Come on, we are so close. If we could just secure this. Hey, okay, Yugoslavia has gone democratic. All right, all right, all right, all right. At least we can secure this. We can't exactly do Turkey yet, though. Ah, uh, we're trying to fill the gap there. It's going to take a little bit of time. Let's go ahead and integrate the broad socialists, and we'll get all this done. I wonder if I could actually coup Romania against the Germans. You know what? Maybe I can. Maybe I can. Hold on. Hold on. Let's see if this is possible. There are the socialists integrated. Perfect. That means that we have fixed essentially all of our issues here. Literally all that I'm doing is continuously hitting buttons now at this point and investing in all the different territories. If we can just please try. Oh, whoa. Whoa, Romania flipped. Romania flipped. They went. Oh, they went democratic. Yes. Yes. When did they flip? Oh, but Turkey, Turkey, if you can flip too. Turkey, what about Albania? Albania, oh, they get it. If they get something demanding that they flip, Italy influencing our politics. No, I'm the one doing influencing. Wait, non aggression pact from Italy? Yes, yes, give me that non aggression pact. Absolutely. I'm doing nothing wrong here at all. Ignore me. I'm just plotting something against the king is all with a two year ahead of time on dispersed industry. Oh, 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 Bulgarian powerful industry. That's what we want. Look at you, you absolute chat of a boy. Italian sponsored rallies in the capital. Fuck you. Send in the police. Bash some fash. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. I am not letting you screw this up for me, Italy. No. Oh, right. I, I could secure it enough. Italy got Albania. Damn it. Okay, well, there went some of my investments then. I, I should have realized that wasn't going to work. Damn it. Italy joins with the Germans, but it's okay because Turkey, Yugoslavia, Romania, everyone joins the League of Balkan Confederacies. Together, we will defend democracy because I tell you this right now, nothing bad ever happened in the Balkans. Just, just, just. Don't, don't, don't look into a history book. All right, now quick, let's make a beeline down towards unification. We have to get this done now. There goes Germany after Poland. Everything is blown up in the world. Quick, Balkans, unite Power Rangers of the... I don't know how I was going to complete that sentence. The Balkans have long been subjected to foreign nations, but now is the time for our people to join forces against the invaders and fight for the land that belongs to us. Yes, yes, united we will prevail. All right, there goes USSR after them. Come on, come on. We might lose Bessarabia. That, that might still be a thing that we are, are going to not be able to contain. But it's okay, because we have industry and that's really it we have no military industry whatsoever but it's a risk that i'm willing to take baby there goes hungry after the axis that is done united we prevail which means unification of the balkans it's time german interest in scandinavia all right we just need to get this done before italy decides to go after greece 
Because once they do, that's going to get really dangerous. Or is it? Because we have the unification of the Balkans. Now, who accepts? Who accepts? Republic of Turkey integrated? Can lead to war. Can lead to war. What do you mean can lead to war? Listen, listen. The Balkan dream is coming true. We have the United Balkan Federation. Genuinely, that was one of the most simple, powerful, and yet boring things that I could think I could have ever done in this. And honestly, now that we're united, we don't even need a faction. Why, why would we? We don't, we, we're, we're alone here as it is with a massive industry that now we can go ahead and start pumping out more stuff. But you know, I don't think that Boris is going to be the man for the job for leading all this. Do you, Nikola? No, I don't think that it is. Let's uh, <clears throat> just plan to get rid of you. God damn though. We, we got ourselves a bit of an industry now. We need to get all these organized with troops. How many troops did we get? A hundred divisions worth. Wow. Okay. Okay. Well, first off, wow. It's okay. We have industry. It's time for utmost optimization, which is going to increase all of our power. Let's go ahead and get that going because we need to start producing as many goods as we possibly can. Oh, and I get all of these generals with all these traits? Yes! I get so many marshals, I don't have to recruit anyone. Damn. Oh, whoa. Soviets, really? Really? Now of all times, you begin to justify. Fuck you. Fuck you. Okay. I just got this ready. Why would you? Oh, oh no. I completely forgot that I have the other side. Oh no, 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 no. Crap, crap, crap. Wait, can I trust the German? <laughs> can I trust the Germans to hold the side? I completely forgot that because I annexed Turkey. That means I have to deal with this shit shit over here. Okay. 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 Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Well, fuck you. I'm not giving Bessarabia, so you can suck on that. Italy demands occupation of Dalmatia. Ah! <laughs> uh, do, I, do I just let him have it? Do I just let him have it? That's this entire region. That's this entire region. Do I want to give that to them? Well, despite the fact that we have a non-aggression pact, this is not going to work. I might just have to give up Bessarabia. Fuck! Okay. We can focus on getting that back later. Wait a minute. Republic Tur Does Turkey not count as a core of mine? What? Wait, since when? I'm just now realizing this. So I could have done the Bulk Confederation thing so much earlier. I could have done that as soon as I had secured Yugoslavia. I didn't need to wait for Turkey. Fuck. Okay. All right. That is that is actually frustrating. I could have had a year and a half to build up industry and troops and prepare. So, oh, no, fuck you, Italy. Fuck you. Are you going to go and attack me? Are you going to get your troops ready? Are you, are you, are you going to do it? Hmm? Hmm? I'm not even going to try and defend this other part over here with the Soviets because I don't think I'm going to be able to do anything. Wait. Okay. Maybe because it's my non-aggression pact or no, it's because I put all these troops on the border that they're not willing to go after me and attack just yet. Okay. 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 Okay, we need to crank out as many divisions in here as we possibly can. If we can get it before the Soviets are able to come after me here, then we should be good. Okay, there's the Soviets declaring on Finland. That is happening. We are still out of support equipment. In fact, I'm using a lot of support equipment. I should stop training these guys up. It's all right. It's more important to get numbers out than anything else right now. Oh, they're just a few days from coming after me. Okay, okay, okay. But if they go up to the Finns, if the Finns can hold a little bit? Nope, doesn't look like they're going to be able to. God damn it. Defy Moscow. Fuck you. Well, yep, there they go. There they go. Okay, okay. We had to move all of our troops over to the side from Hungary. Oh, please, please, for the love of God, don't let them invade us after this. We need to hold, hold, hold hold as much as you can. Holding the line across the river. Fantastic. Let them kind of throw themselves at me. Are they going to do anything on this side? No, doesn't look like it. I think we can hold here. Wait, I'm getting an invitation to join the allies. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. This could be really good, actually. I'm going to hold off. I'm not going to join the allies just yet. I'm going to try and do as much bleeding damage over here as I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the longer that we can hold out, the longer that we can hold out, the more damage that we do. The more damage we do, the more points we rack up. That's what we want to do. And right, in the meantime, keep on building industry. We are going to need as many mills as we can to pump out as many troops as we can. Yeah, yeah, this is we're gonna need a lot. And let's go ahead and put all our troops on strike force. Do not let any of these come on in. We need to take full control of the Black Sea. No naval invasions. Whoo! Okay, 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 okay. Getting a little spicy here. Come on, defy Moscow. Stop them at the gates or wherever. I don't even know where we are at this point. Let's get our military research going instead. Oh, no, no, no. Come on. There we go. There we go. There we go. There's the hold. There's the hold. Okay, we nearly lost that point. And we're losing another one. Come on. Come on. Rush back in. Rush back in. Hold the line. Hold the line. Extensive conscription. We need as many men in the field as we can get. Come on. God, they're just throwing themselves at my line for the entire time. Are we doing loss-wise? 43,000 versus 648. Okay. 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 I think we're able to hold here at least to a degree. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hold the line. Hold the line. Hold the line. Soviet Union demands Bessarabia. Really? Really? 
When you're already attacking me, fuck you. Come on, time to rebuild the army. Let's get this going. Let's get all this going. Whoa, when did the Brits invade the Italians in, in what, what, what? Oh, they're taking Albania. Hey, Albania is supposed to be mine. There we go. Now we're starting to crush through. I don't think they're going to be able to break through any of these parts now. Okay, they finally stopped their attack. What are we looking at in terms of losses? 69,000, nice, versus, wow, a lot, a lot more. God dang. God, by the time the Germans invade, I'll already have killed all the Soviets, I think. Ah, there goes the Germans declaring on the Soviets. Hey, there we go. There we go. Because, yeah, in terms of losses now, even if the Soviets have a ton of divisions, their divisions are really hurting on equipment because they just spent all that time throwing them against my line, which allows me to get invited to the Axis. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Should I join the Axis, then leave, then just immediately turn on them? Now, that's not a very bulk in powder keg thing to do, is it? Why not? Whoa, okay, okay. They are really going in here. Tell you what, tell you what. Let's try and blitz through. Maybe we can cut off some divisions and that should help us. Yes, yes, there's a bunch of troops wiped out. The Soviets simply cannot hold them back. All their divisions are missing so much equipment that they're just getting beat after all of this and we still ended up joining the Axis. <laughs> the Fatherland Front? No, 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 no. Stop with the bullshit communism. No, fascist influence. Why? No, no, you all stop that. You all stop trying to influence my politics. Censorship, anti-communism, anti-fascism. Let's see, what? Did you all stop? Did you all seriously stop already? Russia of the Balkans. Come on, come on, get all these bonuses. Let's get this going. There we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Just move in through the south. Do as much damage as we can. Come on, move in piece by piece. There we go. There's an actual big pocket made. Wonderful. All right, let's just keep on moving our way north then. See if we can cut off some more units. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, yes, there's another big pocket. All right, all right, all right, all right. Come on, there we go, there we go. There's a big chunk right outside of Moscow. If we can just finish this off, then that means that we will be able to secure so much more of this. This peace deal, what are we looking at? 64% still, yes. Fall of Moscow, there goes even more troops. Wonderful, wonderful, what are they down to? Well, it looks pretty good on our side and we have taken far fewer casualties than the Germans, which means that it should be easier theoretically to push this more afterwards. All right, all right, come on, sweep through, take Kharkov. Off. Can we break through? There we go. Another big encirclement. Perfect. The fall of Rome. No, 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 no. Come on. Come on. We're just doing this. I'm going to switch sides and go after Italy too. Okay. But I need to make sure that the Soviets fall first. Come on. Big pocket, big pocket. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, fuck it, we balling, let's go. The majority of their troops have been wiped out on the border now. We can probably just sweep right on through. Fall of Stalingrad, fall of Baku, there we go. Come on, come on, come on. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Let's go. We're heading all the way to the Urals. And there it goes. All right, fall of the Soviets. Ah, you, you never expected that the Balkans and the different Slavic groups would just have a grand old time there now, would you? Or that we would get the majority of the war score. Hmm, you know, all that valuable oil that Germany wants. It would be a shame if anything happened to it. And there you have it. What a beautiful, beautiful peace deal. Wait a minute, hold on. The Russian Empire joins the United Kingdom. You didn't finish puppeting this? Why? Why would you not do that, Germany? And now that all that is fixed, I think it's time that we go ahead and demand all the Italian territories back. You, uh, you need to return the Balkans to the Balkans, Mussolini, and you don't want any of this. Now, what are you going to say, buddy? What are you going to say? Italy gives in to our demand. They just gave it back to me. Well, gee, thanks. Um, God dang, I, 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 I don't know how to tell you this, but um, I kind of don't care. Oh, it's D-Day. It's actual D-Day. So fight against tyranny is about done. That means it's time to go ahead and uh, leave the faction. We don't want any kind of relations with you, Italy. We're going to cancel that non-aggression pact. And uh, we're, yeah, yeah, let, let's, just, let's, just, let's just see what happens. Because did that, oh, no, I can't declare because I have divisions in their territory. No. Oh, so now I could join the allies. And get called to arms. Quick, move in, move in. Go as fast as you can. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go out and try and take out Hungary. They have to completely restructure their forces because there goes Albania. We just knocked them out just like that. God, this is such a mess. I did not plan for this at all. <laughs> oh my God, that was stupid. Oh, there goes Hungary, but I'm getting naval invaded. God damn it. No, oh, and now they're trying to take Albania. No, this is so goddamn it. messy. When did the Germans invade Turkey? And I'm running out of manpower again. God damn it. Okay. Service by requirement. All Polkan men will serve. Paris liberated. Yes. 
Wait, why the fuck did you leave all the- What? Berlin falls and Poland is back, baby. All right, let's go. Wait, when the fuck did the Germans- Oh my God, I wasn't defending my homeland. No. All right, which, which is going to fall first, me or the Germans? I completely forgot to defend against any naval invasions. Oh my God. And my king is assassinated. Oh, no. Quick, get a regency council going. Finally. Finally. Okay. That was getting pretty close, not going to lie. That, that actually got pretty close. I completely forgot to defend any of my ports or anything for that matter. And there you have it, everyone. The uh, the United Balkan Federation. The, the beauty that it was always meant to be. And my God, this, is, this has got to be one of those cursed worlds I think I've ever seen. And why does the German Reich still exist? Why? I swear, since they implemented the new peace deal system, while it is very useful to actually be able to carve out your own borders, it always ends up with there not being enough points to actually secure finishing off the AI, unless you yourself do it. It makes no sense. Uh, but everyone, that is the democratic Bulgarian path, perhaps one of the most powerful paths in the game. I I'm not even saying necessarily in the game itself, but it is a very powerful one that allows you to peacefully annex the entirety of the Balkans with really no issues whatsoever. I probably, if I was doing this again, I, I would not have waited for Turkey. I would have done things in 1938 and just used all of that time in order to build up my manpower reserves and proper divisions so that I could defend against both Italy and Germany and the Soviets simultaneously and let the allies pour in through the Balkans. If I was being smart about it, that's what I would have done and I probably should have done it next, do it next time. Anyway, everyone, thank you very much for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Please let me know in the comment section below what it is that we should do next. Uh, I got a couple ideas for videos that I'm going to be working on, so I will see you all again probably in the next couple days when that next one drops. See you guys. Thank you, and goodbye.